Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and you guys have probably already seen my HomePod unboxing. If you guys haven't, go check out my other video. I did have the whole vlog on how it went, my whole situation of getting this into Canada. And since I came home so late, I got my girlfriend to unbox it really quickly. But if you guys have missed it, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what is inside the box and what we have right here. So of course, we have the white HomePod. So underneath, we do have an Apple sticker, just one this time. They don't give us two like they usually do. Maybe it's a little bit too expensive now. If you guys are having any trouble with iOS 11.2.5 connecting wise, you guys can update to the newest one. It is a developer's one, but it works. I noticed some people do have trouble connecting it. All right, and on number two, it says hold your device near the HomePod with the complete on-screen setup. Now, it does have the W1 chip like the AirPod does. So all you guys have to do is just hold it up to the HomePod and a prompt should go up on your screen. Very simple. And on the other side, all done. Now, pretty much just say, hey, Siri. Now, when I do say, hey, Siri, you can see up top there, it does light up, which is really neat. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what she can do. All right, so just taking a look at the bottom of the box here, you do have your serial number number and you have what features it has specifically which is really interesting however it says nothing about airplay it doesn't say anything about usb connection so you guys can see here that everything is solely relied on apple music and siri all right and for the box itself it looks pretty neat you guys have have some home pod images and we'll just slide that on top and you guys will have this cool suction power that most Apple devices have anyways. So looking at the device, it looks very beautiful with the mesh design and this thing does have some heft to it. I was carrying it around just because I was afraid somebody would steal my like $350 device and I had to hold it throughout the whole period until I got into the car, which was roughly about 30 minutes and I did feel a major pain in my hand. I mean, this thing is actually very, very heavy. So up top here, we do have the volume switcher. We have the plus and the minus. Tapping on it does make one go away and tapping on the other also makes the icon go away. And if you guys hold on long enough, you guys will see that she starts connecting and she starts doing this colorful dance color kind of thing and it looks really cool but anyways this is not the point of the video she's gonna continue listening to us and we'll just tap her for her to go away now homepod is really cool but the question here is can you guys connect it to a macbook and use it as a home theater now i'm gonna show you guys in a separate video how cool and how loud this thing gets but for now let's just jump directly onto the macbook and i'll show you guys how to connect airplay too all right and now that we have the macbook open we're just gonna test the speaker out we're just gonna play a song right here and we're just gonna make sure that the speaker is sounding a little bit different than it would be on the homepod now i'm just gonna play this non-copyrighted music for you guys to hear the difference Turn the volume up a little bit. And there you guys go. You guys can definitely hear that the sound is coming from the MacBook speaker instead of the HomePod. Now we're just going to quickly jump inside settings here and make sure that everything is good to go. Pause the music, of course, and jump inside sounds. You guys wouldn't let the music playing because once you guys connect it to the HomePod, it might be a max volume. It might just destroy the thing. Who knows what music you guys are playing? Now it might be named something else, but it depends when you guys set up the HomePod, what you guys chose it to be and where in the house you guys chose it to be. I set it up as a living room, so just tap onto that. And now that we're all good to go, I'm just going to tap play and you guys will here that it's coming out of the HomePod instead of the MacBook speaker. There you guys go. You can definitely can hear that. And I will pull the HomePod into view here. And there you guys go. That's exactly how to connect your HomePod through an AirPlay 2. And AirPlay 2 is going to be coming standard in the next couple months here. So you guys shouldn't worry too much about two devices connecting to each other. Right now, there is a list of specific devices that can connect to the HomePod. Sadly, there's no Windows or PC support yet. Hopefully, it will be coming out very soon. But right now, this is what we can do. And there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this, do subscribe because I'm going to be releasing every single video I can with the HomePod. Showing you guys exactly how to connect everything else. So once again, peace out.